Hello everyone, Sergeant274 here. Today I am bringing you a video on the Ayato. I think that's how it's pronounced. Anyways, Ayato is a katana, which means it has fast attacks, uh, kind of a brittle blade, I guess, low uh, durability. Um, but it does have bleed build up damage there, um, slash attack. Uh, it's a little uh, weaker than the Uchi katana. Um, but, as you'll see, this is R1 attack. The R2 attacks for this weapon, I love. Absolutely love that cross slash. That is devastating. Um, I, I really like that attack. That's why it is probably, there's a two-handed, my favorite katana because of that R2 attack. I really like the washing pole, but the washing pole is heavy, and it's uh, not as powerful as Uchi or um, the Ayato or the Chaos Blade, for that matter, I believe. We'll do the Chaos Blade in a later video. Anyways, yeah, pretty standard attacks, um, other than the R2s, like I said, which are amazing. Um, so, let's see, what else do we have here? Jumping attack, yeah, it's a straight down attack, same thing, two-handed. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Let's go to uh, Honor Orlando and test these out. Alright, here's my character stats real quick. Just 40 dex, 40 endurance. Um, that's really all I need to know, because it only scales with dex anyways. So. Alright, so, a two-handed attack does 221, and if we survive this, <laughs> uh, let's see, it will take, alright, yeah, it's going to take four shots of a two-handed I have to, to kill one of these giants. And a one-handed you see this 148. Let's head up the stairs here, get rid of this knight. Backstab. Oh, was that 586? 536? We'll try it again. So I can see. I missed the plunging attack. I mean I get partial plunging attack there I guess. 147 you see. And then the uh, R2 two-handed does 388 so that's really good takes a little while but it's good all right on to the silver knights in Orlando. backstab clear review this time 556 all right let's try something else with this guy let's try the two handed so 379 so not enough to one shot him but um it's close Alright, what's alright, let's not do that. I didn't mean to backstab him there, but eh, it works. Should probably heal up here real quick. Alright, let's see what a parry and the repost. Does 726 damage. So again, obviously not as strong as the strength weapons, but they are a lot faster. So and here we have a two-handed jumping attack that completely whiffs. There we go, 426. So I don't think that would have been enough to one-shot him. I think you're probably going to need that followed up by another hit. Anyways, let's throw on the old Hornet Ring here and uh, see what type of damage that does. So non-buff plus 15, Ayato 40 decks with the Hornet Ring. Gets the Silver Knight armor, basically. And 944 when a parry or past. So almost a thousand. Again, the Uchi, when we do that, it's probably going to be a little more, um, but the moveset is standard. Which is still good. The Uchi is still a really good one. Alright, let's have a little fun here. Let's uh, Dark Moon Blade it. This is Dark Moon Blade, only plus one. Um, but we'll see what a parry and repast does um, with Dark Moon Blade on. And you guys can compare it um, to the non Dark Moon Blade parry and repast. So, 1161, it looked like. I could be wrong, but it was pretty close to that. Alright, so where do you get this bad boy at? Oh, Blight Town. There's only one of them in the game, and it's right over here. It's right down there. You have to run and jump. And if you make it, you get... The Ayato. Hooray. Alright, everyone. Thank you for watching. Um, just point of reference, it's right by the bonfire. It's up. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time. Adios.